I thought I'd give you a little tour since everything is growing up and taking over and fruit is ripening or not ripening yet. Well, I guess the blackberries are, but I thought I'd give you an update on the wild things growing. <laughs> Whatever Jubilee and the goats aren't eating. Hi, Jubilee. She's so sweet. She's letting us pet her more and more every day. Girl. Oh, you've got a scratch on you. Oh, you let us put something on there later. Yeah, you're starting to trust us more. I'll help you with that in a little bit, okay, girl? Yeah, <sighs> Let's see what the goats are up to. Jubilee loves leaves off of trees. I think most of them are oak. She loves them, it's her favorite thing. And I see Jacob has been up to no good again. <laughs> oh my word. Yesterday he's, he wedged an apple between her horns. She just went on about her business. As you can see, the goats just can't keep up with all this. We need more goats. So it was getting kind of tall. That's how tall it was. And Jonathan just mowed this yesterday. So we got a little bit more mowing to do, but they're mostly eating the leaves and the weeds. See, they like that tall stuff, but they kind of leave the grass alone. So this is mostly grass right here. This is like the only area in the yard where we actually have just grass or well, mostly grass. There are some weeds in there. Um, somewhere back in here, looks like it's grown up a lot more since last year. Um, Somewhere right over in here is where I was picking the berries, uh, blackberries or dewberries. I'm still not sure which one they are, but that's where I was picking them last year. Um, it was actually on June 1st because later that day, Jonathan got bit by a copperhead. And I have, I have both of those videos up, one on, on the blackberries and one after Jonathan got bit. So um, he's fine now, but he did lose part of the flesh of his finger. He, it's missing. It's not going to grow back. But uh, he's okay, though. Anyway, somewhere over there are some blackberries slash dewberries, whatever they are. But I can get closer to the ones in the backyard, so I'll show you those in a little bit. There's some of our wood chip piles that are maybe three years old now, two or three. I can't remember what year I got them. I'm pretty sure they're three years old. And... They're getting all grown over and decomposing, which is fine. We can still use them. And they'll be more broken down for the garden is good, so it's not a bad thing. But I just haven't used them for the garden. <laughs> I, I did use some two years ago. Last year I didn't I didn't really have a very big garden and it got overgrown with weeds. This year I'm using hay, but I will probably use some of these as well. Let's walk on down here to the end of the driveway. This is what I wanted to show you. <clears throat> Those are plum trees. Sand plums. Those were little babies just starting to grow last year. Jesse's coming. Just starting to grow last year and they've got fruit on them. I'll show you in a second. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> what are you doing? You got the ones that aren't broken, so you wanted to come help me? Yeah. Okay, we're showing everybody the sand plums. You think you can find some green ones on here? They haven't started turning purple yet. Purple yet? Not yet. They're not ripe yet. Oh, wait. I found some. I spoke too soon. Oh. Look at that one. Look at that one. See it? I found some. Oh, it's not, not very soft yet, but it's turning. I spoke too soon. There's a green one right there. Found a whole bunch of green ones the other day. There's a green one. Last year, I literally only found about half a dozen. Look at that. Right there in that one shot, you got about 
One, two, Look. three, four that I can five that I can see. Look. Look. Did you find what did you pick it for? You're not supposed to pick it. We can't eat it like that. You have to leave it on the tree. We, we can cook it. No, we're not going to eat them like that. We have to wait until they get ripe, okay? Just throw that one on the ground and don't pick anymore. Okay. She tries to help. So anyway, we've got a whole bunch of these little, little plum trees. They started out three years ago. They were mostly over here by the road. Some. Yeah, don't pick them. She's found some more. See, here's another one. I don't know. This one's going to have to be trimmed back because I don't know if this one was new last year or two years ago. Probably two years ago so it's kind of big. But it is growing out onto the driveway. And every time we pull in, we rush up against it. And then if we shut the gate, um, if we pull out and stop here and shut the gate, or when we're coming home and have to open the gate, we have to walk past that every time, like between the tree and the suburban. So we need to trim it back. There's another little one. I know. I don't know what that is. We need to find that out. Nice ground cover. And I think this is Greenbrier. Uh-oh. Jubilee's coming. We need to shut the gate. Uh-oh. She won't let us she wouldn't let us put a harness on her either. I've got to keep an eye on her. She's just following us though. I think we'll be fine. And there's like no traffic on this road. Um, anyway, so the plum trees used to be mostly out here, and the neighbors would eat, the neighbor kids, the one we have a problem with, would always eat the sand plums, which was fine, but sometimes he'd eat them before they were fully ripe or whatever, and then we wouldn't get any because he'd eat them all, but I think that might be what that tree is. Hold on, Jesse. Hold on, I'll get her. I'll get her. Um, I think that's what that one was. I'm not sure, but... It seems like whatever they're getting them off of before, those are dead, but they're all growing. See, look, there's a plum tree. There's a plum tree. And it just keeps going up. There's a big plum tree and right behind the fence and on beyond the fence. So we have several plum trees now. always have to have plum trees? Because they grow really well and they give us food. Now the goats are coming. I better, better come back in and shut the gate. Go shut the gate because the donkey followed me and then she went right out the gate and down the road a little bit and the neighbors have a dog thankfully they have a good fence and their gate closed so they couldn't get to each other but the dog kept barking like crazy jubilee was running up and down the fence right over there back and forth thankfully nobody got hurt and we got her back in this is where the pond is and i wanted to show you because we've had a lot of rain lately Unfortunately, it won't hold water, but you can probably see through there. Let's see. We need a, a path through here. There is kind of one in the winter time, but <laughs> during the summer when everything's growing, there's not. But you can see it. It's kind of, kind of stagnant water. There's probably tons of mosquitoes down here. I put minnows in here last year, and I think it worked really great to help keep control of the mosquito population but it dried up they probably got killed from turtles anyway we got a lot of snapping turtles we even have alligator snapping turtles here we've seen two or three on our property and the neighbors that direction have a great big pond and we've seen some over there too we've been over there a few times so this is the front of our property and there's a bunch more blackberries or dewberries somewhere out in there. The other ones I was pointing out are like right over there behind the trees. And right up there you might be able to see our house through there. That's only five acres but lots of thick trees. Now we're heading to the backyard. This is the neighbor's yard right here. We don't have very much in between the driveway and the fence. So I'll show you the other side. It's just all overgrown right now. Even more overgrown in a few weeks. Sisters. Best friends. <laughs>